Hi, this is Alex once again, and we're going to talk some more about tracking. And in particular, we're going to talk about a different tracking app named GPS Kit. But first of all, we're back in the app we've been using, Motion X GPS. And uh, as you can see, uh, just for the sake of what we're doing, we took a short little hike in the parking lot of the computer store and 0.05 miles and took us all of 56.7 seconds. And I'm going to show you what we can do with this and what we can do in GPS Kit. So under our options here, we can share it. And I have the sharing preferences set so that when I share it, it sends to my email, which I find just a really convenient way to move these files around. So it's been sent and I can go to my email and there it is. And as before, I can hold that down until I get this menu. Then instead of open in Motion X GPS, I'm going to open in GPS Kit. And it's going to auto import it to GPS Kit, which is a completely different app, which has just different strengths than Motion X GPS, especially strong at creating collections and displaying your tracks in a really, really clean interface. So it created this new saved set, Sunday, February 17, 2013-2, with one track, Computer Store. And here we are. Uh, we can see the information from the hike, the walk, the stroll, <laughs> and view it on a map. And we can also look at the graphs, which are kind of bizarre looking because it was such a short hike. And then we can also move this hike to a different set. For instance, let's say we want to call this a hike and we want to put it in our hikes 2013 set. We just tap on set and we move it where we want to put it. And then we have an empty set here, which we can now delete. And then when we look in hikes 2013, there's computer store. Well, nah, it doesn't really belong in there, does it, guys? So let's delete it from there. And let's take a look at a different hike that we did, did just two days ago. This is Cedar Run, Hawksbill Gap, Hawksbill Summit, and then back via White Oak Canyon. And uh, see all the information, 11.06 miles, and uh, various other stats. And here's the map, and here's graphs. Graph showing our pace, graph showing our speed, really nice graph showing our elevation. And you can see there's some gaps. The first gap is at Hawksbill Gap, Gap, and the second gap is at the summit, and then there's a couple of small gaps on the way down. One is at the upper falls, and then there's a couple of slightly larger ones that are around the lower falls of White Oak Canyon. So as you can see, this is a very, very nice app, and you can create lots and lots of different types of sets. You can organize your information. This app really, really shines, by the way, on an iPad or iPad mini. We'll be taking a look at it there next time, and we'll also be discussing waypoints. Bye for now.